Okay, so get your harness and bring it with you. Now, remember, you can always take a rope. You can tie around a swing set in a park, or you can find a place that has a picnic shed that you can hook up to. I just happen to have one in my backyard. Um, when COVID hit, we come outside, and so we just have chains hanging down from our bungee. Um, I will have pictures of this and show you guys how to do this if you want to make your own. But let's see. I don't know. Where I, I've been, I haven't been out here in a minute, so I don't know where I hook up at. Let's see. I'm just going to hook it on the bottom. That might be a little bit high, but hey, it's better to be too high than too low. Be sure and turn that so that it don't come unhooked. Nobody's ever came unhooked, but it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Be sure and be safe on your, on your ladder. Walk it down. I'm gonna get my bungee harness on. Remember, if you grab it from the back and you have the right on the red, the left on the gray, it will always work out for you. You'll eventually get where you can just kind of step in it. I do have some foam pads on mine. I will put a link in there for you to look and see if you want to get yourself some. Um, they're actually just seat belt covers. That's the only complaint that I get is that it hurts between the legs just a little bitty bit. But you will get used to it. Eventually, you just won't even feel it. And you ask why I have them. I will tell you why I have them. I'll explain that in a different video. But I will tell you why I have mine on there. Now, you'll eventually get where you can just hook yourself up. But you can use your ladder or you can use a little step stool. You can step up on it. And go ahead and push it and get it open. And then stick it back on your hook. Now the good news about having your ladder here is if this is too low, you can fix it with yourself hooked up. Let's see, hook it on there with it. Okay, let's see if we're too low. Yeah, I'm a little too low. If you're dangly, if it dangles, you're probably too low. So I'm going to go back up. Be sure to hang on to your chain or your rope. I'm going to take it up probably. I'm going to take it up four more notches. Now I'm going to take it back down. Oh yeah, that's good. Then you're going to take your ladder and you're going to set it out as far as you can go with it. But where you can still reach it in case you can, so you can get off. You will probably be able to reach back here and unhook yourself. Or if you get stuck in it, you can always flip yourself upside down and take your feet up your bungee and you can crawl out of it that way. So, make sure you're good and comfy. Make sure your pads are all turned in. It's gonna make it more comfortable for you and more enjoyable for you. You will get hot really quick, so be sure and wear some layers if you're outside and it's cool. Um, I do like to tighten up my top a little bit. Once you get on the bungee, the legs are gonna tighten. The waist is gonna loosen. You'll have to push and pull both sides for both, for loosening and tightening. But I do like to leave my bungee a little bit loose because when you go to the ground, you might have to move it to where it's more comfortable or the toughest part of your tummy. Always test out your bungee. Come all the way to the front, bounce, and be sure that you're comfortable. And that is how you hook up your bungee to get yourself started.